Let the onslaught begin anew. I stand ready, coldly waiting with a steady hand. Marine Corporal Tim Donnelly reads from a blog he wrote a year ago when he found out he would probably never regain use of his right arm. Both legs had already been taken by a roadside bomb in Afghanistan, so that right arm meant everything. I can't salute and I can't shake somebody's hand. You feel helpless and hopeless for a little while and it stings. One thing he had not lost was his voice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Leonard Cohen's Hallelujah has become Donnelly's signature number. And he's getting ready to perform it with Roger Waters of Pink Floyd fame. Marcus Dandria, another double amputee, is on bass, and the whole rhythm section is Wounded Warriors. How long have you been taking uh, lessons? Since uh, about January of this year. And you're about to go rehearse with one of the legends of rock and roll. Right. How does that feel? It's, it's, it's pretty amazing. It's one of the greatest opportunities I've ever had. And uh, he's really good. He's really, really good. He's got a great ear, this kid, and great sense of timing. It was Waters who had the inspiration to perform with this Wounded Warrior band, an inspiration which came from the same place his rock and roll anthem, The Wall, came from, suffering great loss. He was an infant when his father was killed in World War II. His grandfather had been killed in World War I. You know, I grew up with that, uh, with, uh, with, um with the loss of those two men, never, never knowing either of them, really. Mm, right there. Juan Dominguez lost both legs and an arm in Afghanistan. Back in the day, he had played a pretty mean guitar in a heavy metal band. He could never do that again, but he didn't want to live without music. And then he met Roger Waters. Doing, bro? Doing good. Yeah, good, to see you. good seeing you. I introduced myself and got talking about music. He said, I play the guitar. And I sort of looked at him and thought, this is a stretch. How could he play the guitar? And he go, and then he went, well, not anymore. You know, I used to play the guitar. He said, now I play the drums. And I thought, wow, how cool is that? And he does. And I fell in love with drums and kind of haven't looked back. Bob Woodrum, the ABC News correspondent who suffered a severe head wound in Iraq, hasn't looked back either. He and comedy impresario Caroline Hirsch organized a Wounded Warriors benefit to kick off the New York City Comedy Festival. Come on, come on. But there would be no band without Arthur Bloom, a Juilliard-trained musician who teaches music at Walter Reed. You know, this is not kumbaya. This is rigorous, high-level music learning. We roll up our sleeves, they roll up their sleeves, and they get to work. Nice. Bloom recruits superstars like cellist Yo-Yo Ma to come to Walter Reed. This isn't just about music lessons. It's about recovering from unbearable loss. Battlefield medicine has gotten better and better. It's a miracle what they're able to do. Uh, but what that also means is that the people they're saving are increasingly injured. What you're doing here is unbelievable because it transcends all the moments from before and you're getting to a fantastic place. It changed my life. It's a, um, uh, that saved my life. Josh Cawthorn lost both his best friend and his right eye to a roadside bomb in Afghanistan. That's a purple heart emblazoned on his artificial eye. Saved your life. Yeah, I had a, a pretty bad traumatic brain injury as well as the loss of my eye and, and uh, the music helps like just thinking and and coordination and putting two words together. The music is not just mental therapy, it's physical therapy. It's changing. It's everything. Emo emotional 
uh, therapy, physical, whatever you can think of. I, it's the best. The United States Army, Captain Mark Brogan. The best turned out in force for Wednesday night's Stand Up For Heroes concert at Madison Square Garden. Who better to put Roger Waters' words to music than the Wounded Warrior Band? And who better to sing Hallelujah than Tim Donnelly? It's a cold and it's a broken hallelujah. I thought I understood it, but next thing you know, my, my whole life's coming down around my ears. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Every dream, every hope I've ever had for the future is broken around me and, and I don't know where to turn. It was in that place that God said, do you still trust me? Do you still believe that I have what's best for you? And it was that moment that I understood hallelujah. And even though it all went wrong, I stand before I may be more whole now than I've ever been in my life.